inside. I know it was so nice mm -hmm. out. Everyone was just smiles on their faces yeah. all across the Delaware Valley because the sunshine has been so sparse and today's such a nice day and all of our eyewitness weather watchers are raving about it. Check out this scene getting a live look on Skycam 3 in Bethlehem. Hard to find a cloud in the sky and I don't think anyone is complaining about that. Bright sunshine, crisp blue skies, low humidity and temperatures in the 70s. Yes, it's kind of a perfect day recipe and that's what our eyewitness weather watchers are saying as they report in with their current conditions generally in the 70s really all across the area, mainly some middle 70s. So we'll check out what's going on with Phil 75 degrees at Phil's house in Philadelphia. He has a lot of sunshine, low humidity, light breezes and he says maybe the prettiest day all year long. And I think that is definitely a, today rivals all other days for the prettiest day of the year. Actually, he had a pretty cool picture too. We'll go back to Phil. He was out checking out the city and he has a great shot of the statue at Eakins Oval. Check out the blue sky there. So blue because we had the low humidity, so don't have a lot of water vapor in the air. So we get this crisp blueness to the scene there. Oh, just so nice and kind of a rarity to see during the summer months. And we do have that low humidity. Humidity is going to tick up as we head into the day tomorrow, but then lower again as we head towards the end of the week. So we'll head down to Delaware. We're at 76 degrees at Dolores' house. So she has sunny skies in Newark, also light breezes, and she says clear with a nice breeze. So beautiful. I would agree with all those O's as extra emphasis because it is such a nice day. And we'll check in with one more weather watcher. This is Ed. He's in Chesterfield, New Jersey. He has mostly sunny skies. And I think this is going to be a picture. Oh, a picture of the horses. He also said his dog, Casey, was out for a nice walk this morning. But as they were walking, they checked this out today. A ranch, beautiful looking scene there. Great weather for dogs, horses, people, all of us alike. We're really enjoying it. And it has, again, been such a rarity. Rainy days of what we have been experiencing for the month of June, really all of May and into June as well. We're now up to 2.63 inches of rainfall. And we're only 12 days in 12 of these days have had seven days of measurable rainfall. Yeah, we're running at over an inch above the average, but storm scan three showing us not adding to that tally right now. Really not even a cloud to see, but as we pan out, do see some more moisture in association with our next weather system. These clouds trending to head our way, so they will arrive during the overnight period, but still a beautiful evening in store. We will have a quick hitting system instead of a system that comes in, stalls out, hangs out for a while. This one will be in and out, so good news there. We'll go from some spotty storms tomorrow, then back to sunshine, so hit or miss storms tomorrow. Mainly some shower activity in the morning and a better chance for actual thunderstorms as we head into the the afternoon humid conditions and then as we head into Thursday, we're going to see sunshine returning, comfortable humidity levels still warm up into the middle 80s. And then on Friday, a beautiful cap to the work week, mostly sunny, nice with high temperatures in the low 80s. But yeah, we're not going to see widespread storm activity tomorrow. We're not going to see it persisting all throughout the day, kind of hit or miss, spawning in nature in the morning and afternoon. But of the storms that do develop, they could be on the strong, even potentially isolated severe side, mainly during the heat of the day. That will be the afternoon and early evening. So we are in this marginal risk of severe weather up and down the I-95 corridor, Lehigh Valley, and then in a slight risk of severe weather in the Poconos through the day tomorrow. So future weather showing us quiet during the evening hours, a few very stray showers overnight tonight. Again, dealing with that spawning shower chance tomorrow morning. Clouds around the sun will likely break out, but don't let that trick you because that's when we're going to see that storm chance. It is going to develop again. Very spotty in nature, but these storms could be on the stronger side even into the second half of the evening before before all that winds down as a cold front moves on through and clears us out once again for Thursday. But overnight tonight, clouds increasing, a shower possible late 64 degrees. And then for our Wednesday, humid with a chance of some hit or miss thunderstorms, 84 degrees. And we'll skip you ahead to that seven day forecast where we could have, in fact, our first dry weekend in eight weeks, ladies. <laughs> Woohoo! Lauren, thank you. It's been a long time.